Hello, dear students. Uh, we are talking about project business. And uh, I want to remind you about what is EPC and what is EPCM for a specific reason. When we are talking about project business, uh, we must refer and much of our materials and much of our, the firms that are talking about projects and their business uh, are referring to EPC and EPCM. So we must be comfortable with those concepts and understand what uh, those concepts mean. Now, this is what they mean. EPC, engineering, procurement and construction. It is a particular contracting arrangement or contract content uh, where the EPC contractor is made responsible for all the activities from design, procurement, construction and commissioning and handover to the project, to the end user or owner. So the EPC contractor has the sole responsibility and also uh, financial uh, uh, responsibility of uh, delivering the uh, project uh, to the customer and uh, signing uh, all contracts uh, uh, for itself and taking actually the ultimate uh, juridical and financial risk for delivering the whole entity. Whereas engineering, procurement and construction management, EPCM, uh, 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 refers uh, to a contracting where EPCM contractor provides engineering, procurement and construction management services to the customer. Uh, but the customer, the owner, uh, or the employer uh, directly uh, signs the procurement contracts and uh, the contracts with the co uh, other contractors to build the project. So uh, the EPCM contractor is actually a kind of a consultant or professional consultant that becomes part of the owner's organization and works for the owner to manage the project. But the owner signs the contracts uh, uh, for its name and actually carries the actual juridi juridical and financial uh, risks uh, itself. Now the next picture illustrates this. Uh, I have used a similar kind of a picture uh, here that uh, you already are knowledgeable about. Uh, you have been seen you have seen this uh, uh, same picture uh, in some other courses, uh, for example, advanced project-based management. But uh, now um, I have uh, colored uh, a few boxes of these two uh, different organizational structures uh, with yellow color. So O refers to owner, the, for example, user operator, uh, for the project and uh, C refers to uh, contractor, SC is subcontractor and so on. And uh, if we look at the um, picture uh, to the uh, uh, right, then uh, we can see that uh, this project uh, manager or single responsible contractor is, can be a kind of an EPC contractor that uh, uh, takes the whole responsibility for the owner and uh, signs uh, the contracts uh, with other contractors and uh, in this way runs the whole project. When we look at the left uh, picture, left side uh, of, of um, picture of, of, of this uh, slide, then uh, we can see that uh, this uh, management contractor is a kind of an EPCM contractor who 
only manages uh, the project for the owner. So the owner is liable uh, for signing all the contracts with other contractors, but uh, the management contractor uh, or EPCM contractor becomes a kind of a or almost part of the owners' organizations and helps uh, the owner to manage the project uh, uh, as a specialized uh, kind of a managing consultant and, and, and capable party of uh, running the project for the, for the owner. So this is what EPC and EPCM means. And I think that they, this is rather useful information for you to discuss the project business further. Okay, thanks and uh, see you uh, in the next video lectures. Bye.